everybody thank you so much for coming back to my channel and thank you for joining me today on this painting process video um, I wanted to show you this painting that I recently finished and just how I did it this time I did transfer the drawing um, on the panel because I guess it depends. Sometimes I'm very scared and sometimes I'm, I feel very confident. I always try to, to not transfer it and just paint it directly, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm very coward um, and it's okay. But uh, truthfully, I will always recommend to paint directly. I'm starting the process with a portrait, of course, and a basic layer of... Um, it's not burnt sienna, it's actually transparent oxide brown. And I'm just trying to lay uh, like the basic values and colors of the portrait. Even though I went through a lot of ugly stages, but um, once I get the portrait correctly, I can finally move on to the other things. The thing is that it's just very small. It was so tiny, you know, I had such a hard time making those tiny little details like that I was using the edge of a very small brush. And every time that I put a paint on, I would wipe it off with a paper towel so it wouldn't get muddy. So it took me a very, very long time. Once I feel like I have the portrait uh, correctly or properly done with the values and some shapes, I try to paint around what's around it because I'm trying to paint um, wet on wet or a la prima technique. So I don't want to paint anything that is on the outsides really because I want to be able to move that paint around when uh, when it's wet. And I'm also trying to experimenting with my style because I love the impressionistic style of uh, Sargent and Zorn, but I also love the more, I guess you could call it more it's not illustration, but it's more painterly of Richard Smith and I was trying to blend those two together and try to find something that I that I like too. So um, this is why maybe it's a little bit more different than the other paintings. Nonetheless, I love both styles or different styles and I guess it depends on what you're going for. I wanted to force myself to do more finished pieces because sometimes I find a comfort <laughs> in the impressionistic and not redefining it and even though sometimes that works wonderfully some others i, I kind of want to push it a little bit more and even with this piece i left it i left a lot of space <laughs> a lot of white space because i didn't really want to mess with it a lot more but slowly with each piece is like a battle scene and that's when you make the decisions of if you want to go uh, where where do you want to go basically
in this last moment i don't know why or if i even recorded it i could have sworn that i did but i can't find it on any of my sd cards um so here's the finished piece and now after i would say like maybe a week or two or a week and a half it was fully dried and i was able to use the um, gamvar varnish and this one is the perfect varnish because you can add it when the paint is dried to a touch it's not like those old thick varnishes and this is the final piece i hope you liked it and i actually feel quite proud of it especially because it was something different and in each piece i find something even more beautiful than the last one about painting i just love it thank you so much once again and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye Mwah.